Hello, everybody. This is Selenino. Welcome back to the graveyard. We are trying to record with OBS today. Let's see how that works, and who knows if it works fine. Maybe I'll try streaming some PC shenanigans to my Twitch. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Uh, Sparhawk is out, Lars is out, which is not good for us. Uh, Sylvanas is a little stressed, but she'll have to come along because she has combat bandage. Yep, which is good. Uh, we have Dr. Oz, who also has healing. We'll break him along as well. Uh, both of these are able to heal and take care of lepers, I believe. Which could be good for... Oh, actually, we need to take Gomez. We have to level him up as well. Jeez, so many people we can't use. I guess we'll bring Kyrick and... I guess Jacob. Alright, let's try this. Let's do this, yo. One, two. We're gonna take... Tool food. Eight torches. Two keys. Uh, yeah. That should be enough. So, hi everybody. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Our Tuesday and Thursday show here on Selenium Plays. Uh, I hope everything looks good. We are... I, I'm, uh, I'm fiddling around with OBS trying to record with that see if the quality of video is better the audio is better you know just if everything's better uh particularly the uh file size uh so we're gonna find out god this game is beautiful like i'm just looking at it like in glorious full screen and it's just like oh beautiful i love it God, this game is amazing. The Guardian Shield. You're in position 4, plus 4 to 50% healing, plus 5% dodge. Holy crap, that shield is ridiculous. Like, that is only a purely positive shield if he's in the 4th position, which I believe is this one. Uh, we don't want him to transform yet. Uh, we want to try and hold off because it's going to end up stressing everybody out. So if we can push that off for as long as possible and save it only for fights we really need to, uh, that'll be fun. So let's actually set up a vulnerability hex on her so she takes extra damage. Yeah. Then we'll take the sniper shot because she's marked and pff, right to the tits. Shot through the tits, and you're too blame. God damn it, they spawned another one. Oh, that's fine. Oh, please don't spawn a fourth. Oh my god, this is the worst. Alright, we need to... Whip it good. Come on, Jacob. So, I'm, a. Uh... As many of you know who've been following me and watching my video, so uh hi Brandon. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. You know, that's really self-effacing. Like a lot. Uh please, people, if you watch these videos, please comment, like, subscribe. Or at least tell me you're watching the video. Oldie guy. Uh, as people know, I've been working on... Ooh, that stuns. That's... That's sexy. Uh, as people know, I've been working on, uh, novels. I finished one novel, The Son of Jekyll, uh, and it's currently being edited. Uh, while it's being edited, I've been working on two other novels from, uh, an old setting. One that I wrote in grade nine that I'm rewriting. And one that I've always had the idea in my head, but never put it to paper. Uh, that's those, those are cool. I'm having a lot of fun. I have been getting this 
disgusting urge. Alright. To write something really mainstream. To see if it can get me a little bit, like, to get published and get money making faster. Like, we're talking, like, werewolves and shit. <laughs> like, I, 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 I'm just... No, don't get me wrong. It's not like I would write something just for the sake of it being trendy. I would write a character and story that I enjoy. Oh, she can't see the healer herself, eh? Uh, and and I, I would try to make it different and to put my own spin on it, of course. Uh, let's get all of them blighted. Uh, we failed on one. Right, like, I'm not gonna write something just to fit the stereotype. Like, I would never write a story about vampires just for the sake of of Twilight and the money I would hope to get out of it, right? Like, now don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean I won't write a story about vampires, it just means I wouldn't write one specifically for that reason. Um, and, and again, it's a story I've thought of before, so again, it's not like I'm looking at it going, well, you know, vampires, werewolves, they make a lot of money. I could definitely sell this to idiots. Uh, it's it's not that at all. It's really just the fact that I've had a story in my head that is one of those more, yeah, now sort of and more generic, though still unique uh, stories that happens to involve vampire and or werewolf. I won't get into specifics because if it ever becomes published, I don't want to spoil it. Um, but I, I have had... Man, Sylvanas is gonna break unless I find a way to get her stress down. That's fine. Kira can handle it. Um, it definitely means us transforming Jacob is a bad idea. So, no matter what, we actually have to go up here in order to explore 90% of the rooms. Eat. Uh, so... Good. I was actually about to select you to do that. Thankfully, we brought spare shovels. And we know there's no fight in here because of scouting. So, like... I'm tempted to start the story, but a part of me wants to make sure I'm not just being influenced by my surroundings. I recently uh, met an author who writes a story about a werewolf, uh, and you know what? It was a really good story. I bought the first two books of the series. I uh, haven't gotten around to reading the second. Uh, that's no fault of hers. I just have a really hard time. Uh, reading something new, if that makes sense. Like, I can read the same five books over and over again because I can get through them so quickly, and... I don't know. It, it, it's just, I have the second book. I have full intent of reading second book. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, I picked up the first book. Like, I met her at a convention, uh, during one day at a panel... Uh, we talked for like an hour or so after the panel. Uh, and then she, you know, had to go off on her way. And I, uh, so I bought her book then and I had it finished, uh, before I came to the con the next day because I was like staying at a university dorm where I rented a room for like dirt cheap but like the dorm was real shitty and the bed was like hard as a rock and super hot and I literally spent like the whole first night attempting to find a way to open the window and there wasn't and I was just literally going insane because of the summer heat uh so like I met her and like immediately devoured her book and I don't think she's used to people who can read through an entire, like, 
300 page book in six hours so like i just sat there and i just read our book in my room where i couldn't sleep so i came back the next day and we were talking about it and stuff and, 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 and like i just want to make sure that i'm not being unduly influenced by her if that makes sense because like i get it uh we are going to mark this guy It's just, I find writing is often heavily influenced by what you're reading. Um, and, and albeit it's been months since I read her book, I still want to make sure that I'm not in any way going into plagiarizing myself or something by accident. But again, I've had the story in my head since reading through like Twilight forever ago when Twilight came out. Uh, yes, I read Twilight. No, it wasn't the absolute worst thing ever. Yeah, it has its problems, but do I think it should be villain? Uh, do I think it deserves all of the hate it gets? Probably not, honestly. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. There are things that are wrong with Twilight. I, it, the relationship portrayed between Bella and Edward is just not good like it is a very caustic relationship like they they, they and we slew the men who were wicked we got an achievement i'll have to check what that is after the uh stream or after the recording uh the relationship between the two of them isn't healthy it's definitely uh not to say the least on top of that, you have to take into fact that Bella's, the way she interacts and treats the people around her who aren't Edward is also like severely bad. And someone has actually done like an, an entire video on this and it's actually really great and if I could find it or remember it, I would share it, but I can't. Uh, but suffice to say, god damn, oh, at least we surprise them. This could actually be really good for us. So let's get the bile. We're gonna just try and spread out. Oh, they resisted it, eh? Alright, let's get the, we're gonna try and get as many debuffs as we can. And, oh good, we can use him to set up the marks for Sylvanas to murder them. Which is actually really useful for us. I actually really like this setup, and I think this team could like become our main B team. Uh, I really like this setup, especially with two people who can heal and two people who can deal a shit ton of damage. I uh, I definitely like this setup. Uh, but yeah, so like the relationships in Twilight are inherently bad. Uh, some of the bullcrap with like manifest destiny with the shapeshifters uh and like them imprinting on people who become like their designated mate that sort of stuff is also weird uh but again like i will i won't deny that i own the twilight books and that i also own the twilight graphic novels which your average Twilight reader probably wouldn't have, but I'm, I'm someone who believes if you're going to critique something, you need to immerse yourself in it. If I'm going to sit down and tell you what's wrong with something, I'm going to spend the time to learn it. Uh, in my opinion. Like, I, I just think that's the proper thing to do in a situation where you are trying to talk about something. Maybe it's just like the university mindset. If I'm going to talk about something as if I am uh, knowledged on the subject, I'm gonna try my damnedest to be knowledged on the subject. So uh, this actually came up once in a university class. Let's get into old university anecdote time with Sill. Uh, I was in a class titled Speculative Fiction. Uh, which basically means a class where we look at apocalypse movies, zombie apocalypse, 
a any sort of apocalypse movie, basically. Where we look at the movies and the books and discover how people think the world is going to end and how liter how how the literature of that nature was based off society and whatnot. Um, it was a fun class. Uh, and at one point, like, they bring up, you know, few, like, timelines in books and series where, uh, the world is, like, the sci-fi or the monster is a, a werewolf. Uh, and our teacher brought up Twilight, and I had to, you know, interrupt the class, like, to clarify that technically there are no werewolves seen in Twilight and people were like what are you talking about we've seen the movie there are werewolves and I had to explain that in the first book it was revealed that the shapeshifters of the native tribe that they were dealing with uh that's a trap uh those quote unquote werewolves uh aren't actually werewolves they're shapeshifters, uh, Native American shapeshifters, who in the past selected the form of a wolf, uh, and that became the form they change into. Um, they actually go into detail that werewolfism in that universe does exist, but it's not something that can be controlled ever. So they basically say that if these beings were actually werewolves their transformation would not be controlled and they would spread like a disease uh instead the the quote-unquote werewolves are actually more of a mystic thing uh the shapeshift comes from a need to protect their lands and people uh triggered by like a deal with an old spirit that was made yada 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 uh, that basically everyone from that particular native clan gets invested by. So it's still sort of diseasy, uh, but it's actually based off of like a curse on the land, I believe. So when the werewolves start coming to forks, like, ugh, this video has become still talks about uh, Twilight for far too long. Uh, so when the vampires start coming to Forks on mass, and Forks starts becoming... That's pretty cool. I don't want her health ever getting that low, but that's cool. Uh, once they start coming to Forks on mass, a whole bunch of the children of the Native American village start changing. And they start becoming, uh, werewolves. What do you... What will you only... Oh, you'll only drink... All right, uh, like, like super amounts of them. Uh, wow, you're the only one who needs stress relieved. That's crazy. Uh, they start like growing on mass. Uh, like just spotting, becoming more, uh, increasing the number of werewolves because there's a bigger threat to the land that the curse can like sense uh so we actually need to pick up some portraits uh because we need to get this in order to pick up uh experience recruits instructor mastery level two armor smithy level two uh, i guess we could pick up armor smithy level two now and then pick up the instructor mastery later yeah let's do that because that'll also make everyone just a little bit tankier. Sorry, I picked the wrong one. But yeah, and but I mean the story goes on to explain that vampires are just humans Every with a different number of chromosomes. And, and ugh, how I'm just like I'm sick with myself for knowing all this shit. Um, they're just humans with a different number of chromosomes, and the shapeshifters have another different number of chromosomes. And, all right, you need to be resolve level two. No, wait, what? You were resolve level Kyrix level two, isn't he? No, he's level one. Okay. All right, so this is good. Uh, Jon Snow disappeared. That's a little shitty, but we can deal with that. 
This is actually like super expensive. We need to stop there. We're not gonna have enough money for our next trip. All right. Okay, well, listen, thank you for listening to me rant about Twilight. We are going to be right back. I'm gonna double check this video, make sure the recording worked all right. Uh, and then we're going to go and try and get ourselves some portraits. Thank you. And again, please comment, like, subscribe. Hopefully we won't be talking about Twilight.